for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 21 coins, you've got to check out MMOEXP. Stay away from the packs and just buy the ball as you want. You can use code SPREE at checkout for 5% off. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having another fantastic day today. You can call me SPREE and welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Every single week, we take the No Money Spend team into battle. We take on the demons. And i got to be honest, your boy is pretty proud of his efforts from Weekend League last week. Top five in the world. We went number three on PlayStation 20 four and one screenshot it do whatever you need to this is probably the only time we're ever going to be this far up the board it's definitely super super crazy today i want to jump into the rewards see what you get for finishing number three in the world on top of that i have made a bunch of upgrades to the team new chemistries new abilities new players we're going to check out all of those talk about some of the upgrades that were crucial for helping us pick up those wins finishing 24 and one this week now if you do want to watch your boy playing a little bit of john madden football live if you want to get amongst the vibe if you want to see if we can push for that elusive 25 and 0 in weekend league definitely come on through check out the twitch streams twitch.tv slash call me spree i will put a link to it down in the description below right here you can see some of the rewards we get from finishing top three on playstation against my better judgment i am going to open up all of these we're not going to take the coins we're going to see if we can get glitchy today let's see is it going to be an l is it going to be a w we're going to see if we can pull some crazy stuff from these rewards all righty jumping on and checking out the lineup changes that we've made to the no money spent team we've got a bunch of changes to talk about starting at the quarterback position aaron Rodgers was good i think he's definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the game especially for the way i play but i think this man brett Favre, is even better 84 speed solid 99 throw power is great if we look at his abilities I'm rocking Hot Rock Master and Gunslinger and I get to save an AP by doing that so I think this is a great addition the best quarterback in my opinion in the game someone you should be trying to pick up if you do have the coins if you are still looking for your quarterback to hold you down over the next little bit I've also gone ahead and picked up a few stud playmakers added them to the team Derek Henry an absolute demon on next gen on old gen on current gen he's still a baller he's our goal line back he's a power back you know your boy is really bad at running the ball I'm hoping picking this man up will help me get better at running the ball moving forward being a little bit more balanced i like what i've seen from him so far he definitely made some big time plays in our weekend league i also picked up braylon edwards probably the best wide receiver in the game at the moment if you know a few of the glitchy routes that you can pair with deep out elite to aggressive catch and moss your opponent consistently this man is an absolute baller that's definitely something i want to talk about in an upcoming video looking at the rest of the team the only big change is we have switched theme team gone is Washington we've gone all in on the Niners stacked O-line stacked playmakers across the board you see all the pros doing it it gives boost to some of the best players in the game I think going 50 out of 50 with the Niners right now is definitely the best option if you do want to run a theme team hopping on over to the defensive side of the ball Eric Berry is one of our big time new additions this guy is one of our users and this guy has been absolutely insane 99 speed and 99 excel can't ask for more than that 99 man 99 zone whether I'm using him or leaving him in coverage, he's going to make a ton of plays. And if we look at his abilities, because as I said, I am using this guy a lot. Tip drill, pick artist. Since I've used pick artist, I have not dropped a user pick. Now, I don't know if that's just luck or if that's because of this ability. I don't like that you need ability to catch picks. But I will say it's been glitchy since I've used it. So I'm going to keep holding on to it until I start dropping picks and realize it might actually be a waste. At the moment, it feels glitchy, so I'm going to stick with it. If it's making plays, why switch it up? For the rest of the defense, as you can see, a lot of new 49er backups to help out with the chemistry. But some of these guys got some crazy boosts. This man, Ricky Jackson, is now up to 97 speed. This guy is a pass rusher with 99 block shed, and he gets 97 speed. This guy is hunting down your quarterbacks. This guy is making a ton of plays for me. On top of him getting speed boosts, Namdi, Rod Woodson, both up to 99 speed. We've got Sherman up to 98 speed he plays safety for me makes a ton of plays but wait there is more hidden in our specialist and this is something that i think a lot of people should be doing we have simmons we have lt and then we have montez sweat all of these guys see my field all of them are on the field every single defensive snap but i have them hidden here so i can get more theme team boosts on my defensive side of the ball so that's definitely a top tip if you are struggling to hit 25 out of 50 or 50 out of 50 for a particular theme team move some of your stuff 
star players into these specialist roles. They can still get boosts, but they won't contribute to boosts like guys that are starting on offense or defense. Use those spots to go ahead and get the best theme team possible. Now, it's not always about the players. I have been laving up the new defensive scheme. It is going well. We have abilities that pair really well with it. I do want to break that down, look at red zone plays, look at defense, look at how to beat certain coverages. So that's definitely something we'll be talking about over the next little bit. It's time to jump into our rewards, see if we can get a ton of coins, get some super clutch pulls. Starting off in our item binder, we got a bunch of trophies for finishing number three. We also get a whole lot of coins, so I'll definitely take that almost 150k right there added to the pot. While we're here as well, might as well talk about these ultimate eggs I pulled. I have one falcon and we also have two of these MVP eggs. Maybe they're going to be something glitchy, but let me know down in the comment section below some of the eggs that you have pulled let me know some of your predictions as well what you think is going to be in some of these ultimate eggs and then of course we have the packs all of these packs you get for finishing number three now as always I would say take the coins. Guaranteed coins are better value. I can see with the Easter promo, with the eggs coming up, we can see the market go down. So having more coins is gonna be more beneficial. But I like being the guinea pig. I don't mind being the skateboard. I will take owls for you guys any day of the week. So today, we're gonna to check out these weekend league rewards. Of course, starting with Hail Mary packs, we have to start with these. They're usually not very much at all, but maybe we can get a little bit lucky. I'm gonna open up all these packs against my my better judgment we get an 84 right there a great way to start us off i would always take the coins usually but maybe today maybe today's ea is being nice to us maybe today they're looking out for your boy maybe today we can pull something crazy so from those first couple packs a little bit more than i'd actually expect from all of these ones midfields red zones touchdowns i don't think they're particularly great they haven't been great for me all year but maybe just maybe they've been waiting for this single moment to be nice to me in this pack right here we get ourselves a nice a little lady one power up all right we got to do better than that team if you did play weekend league just the week being let me know your record let me know how you went i definitely want to know what you guys have been doing in weekend league so hopefully hopefully that's just the start of it hopefully we're still warming up hopefully we're going to pull some crazy stuff obviously we have that 93 plus. That is our guaranteed amazing pull. Oh, I missed that animation. 87 is good. In that pack, we get an elite as well. Three elites, including one 87. That is much better than the 10K value that you get from that pack. So that's definitely a W. If we can get close to the value back, I'd call that a W. If we can get any profit from that instead of the 10K that we get from the coin sell, more than happy as well. So at the moment, I'm feeling pretty good about these packs. I'll be honest, I'm feeling pretty dang good. Jumping on into these red zones, 25k, not a bad amount of coins. I would usually happily take that, add that to the bank right here. You can kind of see why you should take it. Two low elites, definitely not getting anywhere near our value back. Probably not even half of a back with that particular pack right there. We'll keep on rolling though. We're not going to give up. We're hoping for something. We're hoping we can be great. The final red zone pack. Red zone pack number two coming on up. We start with an elite. It is just a core elite. It is just a Ryan Kerrigan, but that's okay. A low legion right there. And then to finish up, more gold. So red zone packs, definite owls. That's 50k we missed out on. And I'd say we might not have even got 20k value back. So that is very unfortunate. All of these touchdown packs, if they are anything like those red zone packs. <laughs> oh man, your boy. Your boy's not going to be too happy. This is why we grind week in league for these rewards, for the coins. Obviously, we have the trophies, and I do want you guys to keep an eye out for the next video. I will. I do want to go ahead and break down what you should be doing with your trophies, how to maximize the coins that you're getting from your trophies. But in this touchdown pack, in this touchdown pack, we get an 87 Tua Tango Vailoa. Dang. All right, that is a huge owl right there. I'd say at the moment we've probably left 60, 70k on the table by not taking the coins. Moving on to this next touchdown pack as well. Maybe we can get a little bit luckier. And this one, an 88, an 88. We get an 80 as well, but still a couple huge owls so far. Dang, all right. All right, maybe 100k down. 
I'm telling you, fam, I'm telling your team, take the coins, always take the coins. Even if you get lucky, right? Even if you get lucky, how much more profit are you going to get than just taking the coins that you see in front of you? All right, we get 82 and 83 and 86. We do get an ultimate legend. It is an 88. I mean, we did get a few elites in that round, and I think we're probably going to be getting closer. We're going to lose less coins. We're going to lose less coins. Not exactly what you want to be saying when you're opening packs. No, not at all. But we are on to our final one. The pain is almost over. At least that final pack is guaranteed to be something good. Hopefully we can get something to make a ton of our coins that we lost from these packs back. All right, starting with this touchdown pack, we get an 80, we get an 80, we get an 87. We get lights. Lights can be good and they can also be bad. Right there, that is bad. That is not what we want to see. Dang, two low elites, two lowish mid, mid elites right there. Definitely not getting our value back. So we've made not much coins from those packs. We definitely should have taken the coin. Something to learn from. I know moving forward, no matter how good your rewards are, always take the coins. The coins are always going to be a little bit better. But we do have this final pack, 93 plus or a full legend. We're hoping to be great right here. Let's jump on and I want to see a good animation. I want to see something that I actually want to see. We get team of the year, Darren. Waller, okay, okay, not bad. Last time I checked, Darren Waller was 220, maybe 230k, so that's pretty good. And then we get lights. Lights are usually pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty bad indeed. Obviously, we're taking Darren Waller right there, not even close. A couple of hundred k overall, if with this plus the 150k that we got, plus all of the trophies that we're going to turn into a bunch of coins, keep an eye out for the next video plus the touchdown packs, we're probably getting close to, you know, seven, eight, maybe eight, nine hundred thousand coins in value, obviously after we use those trophies up properly. I mean, definitely nothing to complain about, but definitely boys, definitely. Ladies and gentlemen, always take the coins. Quickly jumping in to check out how much Darren Wall is going for at the moment, around 200k, definitely a good amount of coins, something that I'm gonna be able to use. Like I said, I think the market's gonna go down when the eggs drop. We want coins, the more coins we have, the more we'll be able to do with the market. I definitely think it's a good time to be stacking up on coins. But yeah, I think that is gonna be it for today, folks. A little bit of a lineup update, a little bit of a tease to what is coming up on the channel. As always, if you do wanna come through, check out your boy live on stream, twitch.tv slash spree. Definitely come through, enjoy the good vibes. I'm really enjoying using the No Money Spend team. I'm enjoying the new lineup changes we're making, the new schemes that we're coming up with, and I'm excited to break those down for you guys as well. As always, I appreciate all of you coming through. Take it easy, everyone. You can call me Spree, and we out.